time to make some hay tea. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm doing pretty good. We had a eventful show. Um, if you've watched the vlog, you know that we didn't really make it through the course. We made it through three to four of the seven jumps and didn't even obviously make it to the jump off. Um, it was really good experience though for both of us. So we both learned a lot. I think happy learned, sorry, there was a bug buzzing me. I think Happy learned a little bit about the fact that like it's okay to stop at fences like you're not gonna get beaten to go over them and then I've learned a lot about not pushing to fences and trying to have that balance between not pushing but then also not just like quitting to a fence so today well yesterday we had a lesson it did not go super great god my hair's like crazy no one told me my hair's crazy um it went great in the sense that we started working more on getting his hind under him at the canner. At the trot, it's a lot easier for me. We used to have an issue where I couldn't get him to move his inside hind under and out. And now, my little arm's tiny, hold on. And now, <laughs> sorry. And now, he's able to do that a little too well to the point that, like, he's um, dropping his shoulder and he's having balance issues. And it's really hard for me, again, to find the balance between asking for too much and then not asking enough. So today we're going to work on that. Um, it's really my goal for today is just to work on getting us balanced and being able to turn because in the corners is where he becomes the most unbalanced. And that's where we have the issue where we can't turn and he I'm pulling on him and I'm seesawing the reins and then he's getting irritated and just not good. So we're gonna work on that today. Um, I've set up a couple of these jumps as poles and then um, cross rails. I don't think we're gonna go over in the actual like vertical fences just because it's not really the goal for today, but I would like to go over these poles and maybe the cross rails and um, try to support him and be there for him. Cause even over the poles, I noticed yesterday that I kind of stop riding when I get to the pole. All these bugs are coming at me. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. I just got done with all my barn chores. I'm probably gonna go eat something really quick and then I guess I'll see you when I tack up happy. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope today is gonna be a good Peebo day. We'll see. <laughs>
The goal for the ride today was to get some good turning and some nice straightness out of Happy. And it's not really Happy who's having the issue with straightness and turning, it's really me. I am really, um, let's see, I don't know if I'm necessarily super weak through my left side of my body now, but I definitely do not really get my right seat bone in the saddle all the time. And as you see, I really try to lengthen my leg down, my right leg down, but it definitely comes up. And then I also brace on my left like oblique. So here I did a slow-mo of this. I thought it was really interesting. So this was me asking him for like a mini leg yield. And you see like he is stepping through. When I move my legs super far back, he starts to really step under with that right hind. But I feel like he's really braced through his shoulder, which is kind of what we're working on right now. I use my inside rein to move his shoulder over and to kind of stop it. And it works a little bit and you see him stretch, but I feel like he's super on the forehand. And then here you see I really shove that heel down in my right leg and that puts my right seat bone down and then I feel like he actually lifts through his shoulder and his back and you can see him look really lovely over his top line. So it's been really interesting and this ride was really interesting for me to watch back because there was so much that I did. Like see here I push my leg back again, he moves his hind super far under but then he's still bracing again with his shoulder. So it was really informative to watch this and to just see like in slow motion the things that i'm doing are they actually having an effect on my horse because i'm telling you sometimes i don't even feel this and like seeing this was just like super fascinating so that's why i slowed it down so that you guys could see it and i could walk you through like what i was doing exactly there but that was actually really nice i felt like he did really well with that and i was happy with that so we moved on from there So I think that my seesawing through that pole set led to him bracing really bad on that inside rein, but I couldn't get him to stop bracing on it. So my solution to that, which was what we did in my lesson the day prior to this, was to stop and do a quick turn on the, not forehand, on the hind, and then start again. And then that way it kind of gets the point across that I want your hind to go under, and then I'm not asking you to brace on that rein. So that's kind of what we were doing at the trot. It's a lot harder for me to get my leg, my right leg all the way down in the trot and to keep it down. And honestly, I feel like my leg is at the girth even though watching this it's not. So just things that I'm still having to work on and really push um, my lower leg forward and my heel down and to not brace in my ankle though. Like, oh my gosh, there's just so many things I have to remember to do and to not to do. And then on top of that, I really need to get some better connection through my reins because so far bracing through my elbows has been one of my bigger things that I do. And by keeping a longer rein, I think that brace is kind of um, removed a little bit in a sense that he doesn't feel it because I'm not, I don't have contact with his face. So I did practice a little more after this ride on giving him better contact and having a little bit shorter of a rein, but trying to be a lot more giving through my elbows and my hands. And it did go really well. So I'm hoping that this will continue and become a better trend for my riding.
one more thing that I'm doing at the canner is I'm still very much bracing in my lower back and then that causes me to kind of tip my heels or my toes out and I don't really keep my thigh on. So that's another thing that we're working on at the canner that will hopefully help him to kind of be more straight and through his body if I can continue <laughs> doing that correctly. So there, I feel like Happy wasn't really aware that we were going to go over that jump, which is kind of our thing. When he just doesn't know he's gonna go over something, he just stops and like basically looks at me like, what the heck? Because then like once he realized, oh, that's what we're doing, oh, okay, then he just kinda went over it. So yeah. But yeah, so I've been bracing so much. I've been bracing less than I used to, but I still have these like elbows, lower back, and ankle that I brace in that I'm just working really hard to stop bracing in. So it's just a work in progress. ride today. I think we worked through some stuff that we were dealing with yesterday. Oh, do you want to know who I'm talking to? So I think I'm going to hose them off and I'll probably leave you guys here. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and look forward to maybe next week or I don't know, sooner video. Thanks so much for watching.